It's your boy Enoch here. I'm um, going to give you a tutorial on how to use the history tool on Photoshop. I um, decided to do this because a lot of people kept asking me um, how, to, how do I blend in colors using Photoshop when I'm doing a rendering of a character. Well, um, let's get to it. I already have a file here um, with the colors, the bases. This is something really quick that I had set up. Okay, so um, as you can see here, I got a layer. Okay, I got the background. Then on top of that, I got a layer with the color bases. Okay, and then I got my inking, my outlines. That's the the top layer. Okay, so what I usually do is um separate separate all the layers. Um, when it comes to blending colors, I have a separate folder. Like for example, here the body is red, right? So I have this folder here for for the body, and I have two layers. I have to rename them. First layer, I'm gonna call it the the highlights. Highlights layer. That's gonna be the the lights and stuff, and then I'm gonna put the shadows layers. One thing that I usually do is um set up the the blending mode. Let's say for the shadows, it'll be multiply, and then for the highlights, it'll be linear dodge add. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with with shadowing. Now with shadows. Um, I'm going to start off with the body, right, so it's going for a, a dark red. Uh, this will do it, okay. And then, using the brush, okay, now, one of the things that I have set up here is the, the history um, toolbar here. I usually put that so I can see what, what my history is on the file. Now the way this works, um, it works by, it's like a snapshot that it takes at the moment. Um, it travels t through time. I don't know how to explain that, but um, it works really cool. All right, so first thing I do, okay, let me see, let me zoom in a little bit. Start off with the top, with the hat. <clears throat> I'll just come in and draw some shadow <clears throat> with the dark, dark red. It's very simple. If you're wondering, um, what tablet I'm using is the, the Wacom Cintiq 12WX. That's what I use. You can use any tablet. Still works. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the history tool. And I'm going to change the stroke. Uh, just enough to, to blur out. I'm going to... Got to make sure that the harness is, is on zero. It makes the makes it blurry. So you're gonna press away from it. And as you can see, it's blending, and that's what happens. We go back in time. That's what we had. Let's see how it works. Now I could take a snapshot of this. Keep going, do something else. And then go back to the history tool and make that fade a little bit. Undo, redo, whatever, until it comes out right. Take a snapshot, make sure you use that as a habit. Go back to your brush tool, come in. Do some more shadows. And 
blend in. As you can see, the top part is not affected. Now, the reason why I use the history tool is because if I go ahead and do the, the eraser tool, which would make sense to use it, this is what happens. You end up erasing everything. Let's bring down the hardness. You could blend, but it erases everything, and um, you don't want that to happen because there's certain areas that you want to leave the shadows in, and you don't want to erase everything. That's why we use the history tool. Okay. He's going to go over here and add some shadows here. Since I, I recorded the history tool here, took a snapshot, it's going to go back in time where it wasn't there, you know, the, the, the painted areas disappears, so it's going to blend back, that's the way it works, I can also do do the same thing, the opposite, where get the eraser tool, use the harness, and I can come in and erase an area. And then, let me redo this. And then I can come in with the history tool here, bring down the, the size. I can make it blend. I don't like that one. Looks good. If you notice what happened here, I didn't take a snapshot of it finalized. What it's going to do is going to take me back to the previous time. And so I'm going to go keep going back. Okay, now right here. Remember, you have to take a snapshot of that, that timing. I should have no problem. Oops. Okay. So I'm not gonna paint everything, but um, just wanna show you how I do the shadows and the highlights. I'm gonna go on with the highlights. This time I'm gonna pick a light orange same thing take a snapshot go in there and start painting the area that you want to blend in I can erase this part right here History tool. And it blends right in. Let's take a snapshot again. Use the brush tool. And that line. Blend it in a little bit. Take the snapshot on this side. Do 
is the history tool, and so on. So there you have it. That's how I I make my blendings on Photoshop using the history tool. It's really badass. I like it. The images end up looking like like if they were done in Illustrator. Smooth. tool to erase. Okay. Alright, so there you have it. It's the history tool there to blend in colors.